Hey everyone, this is Dan Fran and Media Guys. Now, um, something interesting came up on my radar. Uh, I was checking through my feeds on on YouTube, and apparently, uh, one of the channels I watched had mentioned that the uh, Sony's uh, new Ghostbusters, you know, Ghostbusters the next gen or whatever the fuck you want to call it, apparently had had uh, half a million dislikes. It's twice as many dislikes as likes, and um, I apparently BuzzFeed, you know, came out of the woodwork and started accusing anybody who disliked it of being a misogynist or having secret misogynistic um, un- undertones, and I'm like, okay, um, I didn't like the trailer, and it's and. Before they, before you got all the, you know, SJW say, well, it's because you don't like fem- a strong female character. Okay, fuck you, for one thing. I happen to be a big fan of many strong female characters. I like, in fact, one of my favorite series, like Legend of Korra, strong female character. She's bisexual. She's a badass. She kind of is like the that world she's like kind of like Ronda Rousey you know cool character and you know there's you know Laura Croft or female Shepard or a dozen other characters that I like who are female who are so I have nothing against the female thing I just didn't like it because it didn't feel like like Ghostbusters yes it has the proton pack and yes it has the Ray Parker Jr. song which was a technically a rip of Huey Lewis's is found new drug, whatever you, you know. It it's it. I mean, my my big problem is is the can, the the story can. I mean, in the beginning of the trailer, it's like you know you know thirty years ago, four scientists saved uh, New York from a disaster, and it shows. In the beginning of the trailer, a basically a reshot of the famous library scene where where Ray and Egon and Vankman are like, "Oh, it's a ghost! Are you getting this?" And it literally feels like they don't know whether to be a reboot or a sequel. I know it's supposed to be a sequel, but it doesn't. It feels like they're again they're doing. And what what gets me is that if it is a sequel, why are they starting a new Ghostbusters group? Should there be like franchises by now? Because you know they've proven that you know ghosts exist and they can catch them. I mean, there should be like a a Ghostbusters franchise in every small town. Like you know, there should be one that takes care of like the ghosts in the cell. You should hear. You should be hearing the South will rise, get up, and put them in, in the ghost trap. You know, catch like Ghost of Stonewall Jackson or whoever the fuck. But no, it's apparently a new group, and um, I have nothing again against a female cast. I don't think it's a smart idea. I think in this modern era, maybe it should be a, a co-ed group. Maybe you could have. Um, you know, got two guys and two girls. I mean, and my thing is, maybe if this is a sequel, and it's in New York, why aren't these the like the next the children of um, you know the the, the last Ghostbusters or even the maybe have one or two of them be like the children, and then maybe have like one of the older Ghostbusters like Mentorium, like have Ray be like. Yeah, well, I, you know, this is what happened back in the day, and, you know, um, showing the way. I mean, I know they can't have Harold Ramis because he, he passed away, but, you know, I mean, get an older one. And, uh, again, and my, my biggest problem with it is the, the stereotype. The, and not to be mean to the actress, but, the black stereotype is really just out there. The, the, the you know, the the wise talking, you know, kind of, you know, 
you know, black lady. I, and I get nothing against the actress. It's just, it seems so, again, stereotypical. I mean, when they had uh, Winston, you know, they had Ernie Hudson's character Winston, he wasn't the stereotypical black guy. He was an every man. He, he was the... The guy who came in and said, "You know what? You know, I don't care. You know what I have to believe. I'm just looking for a job. And if there's a paycheck involved, I'll do. As you said, I'll believe whatever you want to believe. If there's a paycheck involved. And he, the only stereotypical thing he did in the movie was a, being a black guy who happens to have read the to be kind of Christian, which that's not a very Big thing, and maybe telling the mayor that the sh- the stuff the shit he's seen will turn you white. But aside from that, I mean, he was there mainly as a as a representation of the audience, the one who basically, when they start talking paranormal, he's like, "What does this all mean?" Like he was the one who basically kind of helped prompt Eon to make the Twinkie analogy about uh, for the amount of you know paranormal activity. He was he was the you know, the one to say, I don't get this. And I need this to explain. And he wasn't even going like, whoa, whoa. He was like, when Egon's like, you know, the, the, like a the Twinkie that, from the amount of activity, be the size of a bus. He, he's like, no, that's a big Twinkie. But that's the kind of reaction you would imagine someone saying. And, you know, I mean, that's pretty much what I'd expect expect of the of him playing the outside character and that that's why um the actress who's playing you know the you call it female winston doesn't feel like a proper successor and neither do the any other actors feel like proper successors to the these characters that's my big problem is they don't feel like prop the proper again you know again the, the other stereotype I'm talking with the fact she's like you know you're all scientists uh, you know and I'm you know I know New York I'm like why couldn't they have had a black female scientist who maybe is not in who knows maybe like engine no they already have an engineer you know they just something you know maybe she's like Winston who comes in later because like, apparently Winston, in the, in, if you played the, the video game, and, and I even listened to the commentary, because I loved Ghostbusters, I listened to the... Winston was supposed to be, you know, have a huge list of, like... He was, he had, he was like an engineer or a particle physicist. He just wasn't in the same kind of stuff that um, the other three were. He, he had, didn't know a lot about, like, uh, metaphysics and, you know, paranormal sciences. He was about, you know... A lot more of the actual, like, real world stuff. But no, they couldn't do that. That that was too simple. They couldn't, you know, they had to go with a stereotype. The wise, you know, you know, you know, New York kind of, you know, sass. Which is just bad. Anyway, that's. I think that's. I've said my piece about what I ha- have. Uh, that's why I, I, I'm gonna say just because. Ooh, what goes? Ooh, that's why I'm gonna say that just because you don't like the, f- the way it looks, the, the trailer doesn't make you mean you're a uh, misogynist. It means maybe you happen to have your own fucking opinion, and that. You know, maybe there's maybe they'll do better. Maybe it turns out that this was a a false start, and maybe this will be the you know, like how we weren't quite sure about Star Wars. You know, The Force Awakens with the seeing Kylo Ren's you know three blade lightsaber, and maybe this is the three blade lightsaber that turned out to be really badass. It's going to be really useful, and it's just, you know, it's a bad false start. This is a bad start, and it turns out go, and if it is, if it, it turns out to be the most awesome thing ever, I'll be the first one to say, you know, it turned out to be great. It was great, or good. But, 
as of now, I am going to reserve my judgment for the movie until I see it. I hope it, it, I hope, but you know, I'm not, I'm not sure now that it does, it, it exceeds my expectations, although based on the, the, um, the current situation, it's probably not, it's not a high bar to, to go over. Alright, so this has been Dan, um, and if you like this, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.